Hey friends, so um, I had no warning in this. I just I wanted to reflect on my recent first time uh, doing a vendor event. So um, I worked at a fall festival last Thursday at a church um, and um, it went really well. I mainly brought, um, Jeremy and I, had we used our host rewards to get things to purchase or, or to sell, excuse me. Um, so we had like a few warmers um, and we had a crap ton of wax bars to sell. Um, so we set up um, at the church and um, I was questioning whether or not we should have a canopy um, because it wasn't listed as one of the requirements from the uh, coordinator that we worked with. And I'm really glad that we invested in a canopy. We got one for like $47 at um academy and it's actually purple so it's like scentsy purple it's really cute um and i'm really glad we did because every other vendor at the um, event had a canopy so it would have looked kind of silly if we didn't have one um and plus it was very warm and sunny um during, you know before the sun went down um so as far as like our wax goes and everything i'm glad that we were able to put that in the shade so i guess that would be my first tip is have a canopy if you're doing an outdoor event um obviously an indoor event you probably don't need one um we use the scentsy tablecloths so you can get them on the consultant store i usually add all that stuff to a party order that way it's just, you know, you can save on shipping and everything. So we had a long table and then two card tables, like with things on them. Um, and I had like join brochures, brochures for the warmer of the month, um, the harvest collection and the holiday collection. So people were able to take those. Um, I don't have them on me but I instead of giving out catalogs which are very expensive I did the showcase brochures because they're cheaper I think for five dollars you can get 25 of them and I have these like labels that I put on them with my information um here they are so I put these on every single one it has my website and my phone number so you know they can see that and they're like oh you know they can call me if they need to um, another tip would be definitely to have like some kind of sensey sign or sensey around you somewhere. Um, I actually made a mistake and didn't bring the, or I couldn't find the square tablecloths that had sensey on them. And our big tablecloth that had sensey on it was in the back of our booth. So people kind of had to like walk up to figure out who we were, what we were even though like there were warmers and stuff. Um, we did not have electricity um, where we were outdoors. So that kind of stunk in a way, but I used these like fairy lights to um, draw people in. It kind of um, like, you can get them for like $8 on Amazon. And it was really nice because um, it kind of like led people in. They were like, oh, you know, what is this? Um, but they kind of had to walk in to figure out who we were. Um, even though my, my shirt said Cincy on it, you know, they were just kind of like, what is this? Um, and, uh, we mostly sewed wax. So if you're going to do something like that, um, and you want to have product on hand, you don't have to, but there were other direct sellers that did not have product on hand. And in my opinion, you can easily be walked by. Um, I mean, pe a lot of people walked by us too. Um, but in my opinion, if you have nothing to sell, people are just going to walk by you. <laughs> um, so if you really want to like get people in, maybe try to have some stuff to sell. Like I say, have a party open for a while or, um, something like that and just use host rewards to get things to sell. Um, but we mostly sold wax bars, um, we probably bought, brought, excuse me, about 150 wax bars. I'm not even kidding. Um, and we sold like, I don't even know how many we sold, maybe like 30 or something like that. So um, we had a sign that said um, what the wax bars cost. And I only put it out as six for 30. Um, but pe most people did ask how much is just one. And then like we led on to the three bar bundle for $17. So a lot of people did buy just one, but we did sell a few six packs. So that's awesome. Um, but uh, my bottom line is get people's information. 
So we did a drawing, and like, if you're doing a drawing, I guess you don't really have to say what you're giving away. Um, we did a drawing for like $25 of like product credit. Um, I worded it as $25 gift certificate. Um, and you can, you can give away like a basket of things. You can give away, um, one bar. I don't know, but I really just wanted a way to get people's information. Just make sure if you're doing something like that, make sure it's within compliance. Um, so definitely just, you know, look that up on your own. Um, but, um, that was a great way to get people's information. So I like, I like went out and greeted people as they were coming in or as they were walking by. I was like, um, hey, you know, um, we actually are doing a drawing today if you'd like to enter and you're more than welcome to open because people, I guess, were afraid to open the wax bars. It was really funny. It was like, you're more than welcome to come in and open things and smell anything you'd like, look at anything you'd like. You know, um, we do have items for sale today. And, um, I brought like merchandise bags and stuff like that. So the things that people did purchase, you know, they were able to take my information with like business cards and I had a bag ready for them. Um, but get people's information. That's a really great way. Um, today I actually, I went through all the little, I'm going to cover up the lady's names name, but, um, this is like the drawing slip. It just says like Cincy drawing. Um, and it says name, phone number, and email. Um, so what I did was, I think there were like 20 people who entered, um, and I entered all of their information in the workstation. I checked the box that said newsletter subscriber. They can always unsubscribe if they want to. It's actually really easy to unsubscribe from the newsletter. Um, I texted the lady who won the drawing and then everyone else, I sent them an email just saying like, Thank you so much for stopping by at the booth at the blah 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 festival. Um, our winner, I wor I didn't real, I didn't word it as unfortunately you did not win. <laughs> I I uh, worded it as um, our winner has been chosen. However, um, uh, I said to show my appreciation, um, reply with your address and I will send you some samples. So what am I gonna send them? Probably just, um, a felt sample and, like, some rub and smell stickers and maybe, like, a flyer of something with my business card, something like that. Something very simple that can, like, just go in a, you know, number 10 envelope because they probably, most people who entered in this drawing did not purchase anything. <laughs> so, there's that. Um, but they might be obligated to if they are able to smell more things. So I don't mind to send out like a one stamp sample mail or whatever, happy mail. And like the way I worded it, they're, they're, they think that they're getting something really awesome, which like if I were to get something in the mail from someone, you know, I would be really happy anyway because they did not have to do that. So it is honestly, in my opinion, a gift to them because they're getting this free sample that they can use and smell. Um, and, um, I also put my link, uh, at the end of the email, you know, if you'd like to browse the latest, um, you know, products, here's my website, uh, or check out my website. And I just made sure that they knew that, you know, fall is here as well as, you know, we're getting ready for the holiday season. You know, people don't want to wait to shop. So, um, that is a great thing to do too. So if you get people's information, make use of it because the, um, these little slips were just sitting here on my desk for a few days, almost a week. Yeah, it was a week ago tomorrow. Uh, I did just get back from going out of town with my husband, um, but um, I made sure to take care of that today because I was like, these are doing nothing for me to just sit here. <laughs> so um, I made sure to put all of their information in. Um, if they just sent me their phone number, I'm probably going to just like text them the same kind of general thing that was in the email. Um, but I already had a reply from a lady who she, she said, you know, thank you so much. I enjoyed seeing you at the event. Here's my address. So I'm going to send her some samples and some information because that is how we make connections. Um, I'm going to see if she's on Facebook. I'm going to see if she maybe wants to have a party. So that is how we do it, y'all. 
Um, but if you have any questions about events or anything else I talked about, definitely put them in the comments below. If you're watching the replay, comment replay. Otherwise, hope you guys have a great Wednesday night, and I'll talk to you later.